John from Rentork here uh, to talk to you a little bit about lock pin assemblies on your center lock hubs on GT3, GT2s, Turbo S's, and GTS's. So as most of you know watching this video, you've got a, a lock pin assembly inside your center lock nut. And it's critical that that lock pin assembly is always fully extended uh, before you drive the car in order to secure the wheel on the car. So sometimes this assembly will get caught up like it is right there. And you can see the exposed splines in that case. Um, the, when it looks like this, it's not fully secured to the car and it's critical that you adjust it to make it so it is. In order to do that, Typically, you can just twist it a little bit and have it drop back down um, into um, the fully extended position like that. Occasionally, you may find it's difficult to get it to fully extend like that. In cases like that, it's typically because the lock pin assembly um, is gunked up or in some cases even rusted onto the hub. So typically this lock pin assembly should be able to rotate freely like that, okay? And it's that rotation that allows the, the splines to drop back into the nut. If you're having trouble, uh, I recommend removing your uh, lock pin assembly like this, checking all these surfaces, making sure you don't have any rust there uh, or gunk that's preventing it from rotating. And then you can lube it back up again and insert it back into the hub assembly. Uh, and just make sure with your hand that you have that uh, free rotation there that you need to make the lock pin engage. Uh, and that's it.